In our Democracy 2010 coverage tonight, a ballot initiative that could change the future of the Bay Area and Florida. Amendment 4, also known as Hometown Democracy, would require any change to a community's comprehensive development plan to go before voters. Our new poll shows that the measure has almost two to one support, but that may not be enough. Here's more on the arguments for and against Amendment 4. Supporters of Amendment 4 say this is why voters need to take control. Poor planning and lax regulation, they claim, expose Florida taxpayers to booms and busts and sprawl that largely benefits out-of-state builders and speculators. We have elected officials who are supposed to be making these decisions in the community's best interest, but they are bombarded by special interests, campaign contributions from builders. Hometown Democracy spokesman Wayne Garcia believes citizen control of growth is long overdue. The language you'll see on the ballot explains that Amendment 4 establishes that before a local government may adopt a new comprehensive land use plan or amend a comprehensive land use plan, the proposed plan or amendment shall be subject to vote of the electors of the local government by referendum. Our ABC Action News Zogby poll shows nearly 50% support Amendment 4, just under 28% oppose it, with nearly a quarter still undecided. It sounds good on paper, it looks good in the, in the language, you get to decide, you get to do everything, but the outcome of it could be devastating to the state of Florida. And Republican political consultant April Schiff and former Democratic Congressman Jim Davis oppose Amendment 4, along with most every Chamber of Commerce, though Davis recognizes the need for change. We, we need to do a better job managing our growth. And the folks that are against this amendment, which includes me, need to acknowledge that, need to recognize there's a tremendous amount of concern about the direction Florida's going in, but this amendment is overkill. The opposition argues Amendment 4 is a jobs killer that will stifle growth. Garcia disagrees. There's already lots of room to grow that are built into these comp plans. So the idea that the recession is going to get any worse, hey, the current system is what got us in the recession. Well, millions of dollars are being spent to defeat Amendment 4, and unlike a candidate's race, this change to the Constitution requires a supermajority of voters, that's 60%, to become law.